everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Keisha just in case you're new here I blog every day at kjaggers.com the link is below so normally every week I share our food hauls with you to show you what we're eating right now we're just feeding Scott and myself and you know we overbought last week and still a lot of the things from last week will carry on into this week simply because we ate out a couple nights a couple nights we just snacked but um, it's Sunday night here and we just got home from the store you can see by the windows it's a little bit later and um, I'm recording this haul at night instead of during the day because we went shopping you know kind of late it was a very relaxing Father's Day I hope you um, I had a wonderful time with your family, and I hope all the dads out there had a wonderful day. So let me kind of go through what I got, and we're going to start at the back of the table. So we have a strawberry farm very close to our house, and tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to start making jelly. And um, I got three gallons of beautiful, fresh, organic strawberries. They were $15 a gallon, and they come with the, um, like the plastic strainer thing, see? So I got three of those at that farm stand. And I also got a bag of peaches, but the peaches are a little bit hard still. I plan on making like a peach pie or a peach cobbler um, with those, maybe some peach jelly, but they need to ripen a little bit. And while I was also at that same fruit stand, um, I got four zucchinis. And they're just the smaller ones. You want smaller zucchini because it tastes so much better. Those really big, large ones, not so good. But these are for jelly, and um, I'm super happy to get them. Now, don't go into shock when I show you this, but I also got a really big thing of sugar. I don't even know how many pounds this is. 15 pounds. Um, because... That's what makes jelly taste so dang good. So I got lots of sugar for the jelly. And then over here, I only bought, well, I bought a couple meat things, but I bought this pork tenderloin. I thought I would grill it out one night, and I will show you the recipe that I love to use on the pork tenderloin um, out on the grill. I also got some of these TJI Friday chicken wings because um, I'm home a lot and like, you know, to eat lunch at home and... This is one of my favorite things. Um, over here, I got some more of the prosciutto um, wrapped with mozzarella cheese. You guys know I love prosciutto. And we weren't at Ingle, so I had to buy the prosciutto in these packages, and they weren't so cheap, but that's okay. We love it. So I got two more packages of prosciutto, um, which is delicious. Then I got this all-natural oat crop Australian cheese with a delightfully bowed bite and sharp cheddar, this color. Thought we'd give that a try. I got another butter. Um, I got a can of pineapple slices because I love pineapple grilled um, outside on the charcoal grill, so I got that. And then at Walmart, because that's where we were at, I picked up a honeydew, two red grapefruits, three lemons that will also be used um, for the strawberry jelly. I picked up a bag of Brussels sprouts, because Scott and I love Brussels sprouts. Um, I picked up some more asparagus, because that's another vegetable we love. I got some bananas, just really for myself. Scott don't really eat bananas a lot. I got some hydroponic um, butter lettuce, and this lettuce is so beautiful for like BLTs or sandwiches. It's one of my favorites, so I got one of those. And we also got just these little mini frosted donuts. Sometimes Scott wakes up in the middle of the night and wants a snack. And sometimes I want them too, so. Um, I also got this big thing of cornmeal because I was running low and I'm making fried green tomatoes. So we picked up another cornmeal. And I went ahead and got this sweet onion blossom dipping sauce because I thought it really might taste good with the fried green tomatoes. And I got another one of the ranch dressings also. Got my ghetto Mott's applesauce in the original because, you know, it's good. And let's see. Scott wanted some more Klondike bars, so he got those. And even though I don't like ice cream, I do like gelato. And I got this tel uh, Tellini, is that how you say it? Sea salt caramel. And it's going to be amazing, I have a feeling. I'll let you guys know. And then we both decided that we would enjoy some brownies. I only got one box. Usually when I make brownies, I use two boxes, but with it just being Scott and myself here, I'm, one box is fine. I also got some um, chocolate frosting. And then over here, 
I got another herb. This is chocolate mint. It smells so good. And believe me, I'm not sure exactly what recipes I'm going to be using this in. Um, maybe some smoothies or something, but I definitely had to have it to go with all the other herbs. Then I got a case of Cokes, a case of Mountain Dews, Cooper's Somewhere Canned Dog Food, just to make sure we had enough to get him through the week. This is just a pure balance, which he likes a lot. And then Scott picked him out some of the Minty Fresh um, breath chews. So that is pretty much it. Now this haul is going to be going up Sunday late night um, by the time I edit it and get it up. And this is going to be my Monday video, you guys, because um, I'm going to be busy making jelly. Now I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. You can click on the link that's going to pop up to show you my other haul where I bought a lot of canning supplies. Now I don't know how much I need in strawberries. My grandmother's recipe and the recipes I checked online doesn't give you an exact amount of how many berries you need for jelly. Most of the recipes just say a lot of berries. So I don't know if I bought enough, not enough. Um, I don't know if I have enough canning jars, but I can always run back out and get more jars if need be. Um, and, but I'm going to clean these tonight. I'm not going to haul them tonight, but I'm definitely going to clean them um, and get them ready. And that is pretty Pretty much everything we got um, you know it's just Scott and myself we really don't need a ton and a lot of nights we um, are eating out or we are snacking which does happen and the other nights we're grilling out so it's not always you know a big fancy dinner especially with the kids not here um, we're just a little more relaxed so I hope you've enjoyed this haul and this will be considered my Monday video because Monday I'm going to be uh, making that jelly all day and I will be recording it and sharing it with you guys so you can see what works for me and how to can in case you're interested in canning. This was the last week though for the strawberries so if you have like a farm or strawberry farm near you you might want to hurry and go get some strawberries because they will be going out soon. The peaches we're just going to let ripen and we'll use those in another recipe. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Check out my blog at kjaggers.com and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.